Hey guys, it is Friday here in the Philippines, so it is time for us to go ahead and do our weekend showcase video. And today we are going to do funny cars. We're going to call it Funny Car Friday. So we're bringing back a lot of cars we've looked at in separate videos, like some drag strip demons videos, some unboxing videos, and so forth. So I took uh, about 22 cars and put them into a video for you guys. Uh, some Johnny Lightning Funny Car Legends and Hot Wheels Drag Strip Demons and even some uh, Hot Wheels 100% cars. So um, we're packing things up, getting ready to go back to the States at the beginning of next year. So figured before I put these in a box, I'll show them to you guys one more time. So I uh, wanted to bring back some of my Yellow Snake uh, ones, uh, and then some of my red mongoose ones, but I already packed them away, unfortunately, so I brought out some snake and mongoose stuff, but not your typical stuff. So let's go ahead and start with them and take a look at them. So we have Snake 2 here. This is one of the harder to find drag strip demons as at least they used to be. I don't know how the case is now, but the Snake 2 and Mongoose 2 were very hard to find when I was trying to acquire these back when they were first launched, or at least like the year or two after. I think they were 2009 and 2010 is when they made their appearance, and I was trying to acquire most of them in 2011. And this one uh, was one of the harder ones to find. Um the snake two so pretty cool paint job white with flames not your traditional yellow snake and this is based on like your 72 to 74 cuda whereas the yellow one is like 70 71 cuda um so pretty cool looking car from hot wheels this is their drag strip demon series and very nicely done by them. And this is a whole new casting that they developed for that series. If you recall, like all of the previous, like Duster and uh, Cuda funny cars were all based on, as you can see, casting date 2008. So this would have been the 2009 release, I guess. But um, anyways, all the other ones were based on their like 68 on that 68 but 69 70 model that they released in the original snake and mongoose stuff so this is a whole new tooling for that series so then we'll go with mongoose now this isn't the mongoose 2 but this is the mongoose english leather duster so this is one that is based on like your 70 to 72 duster as you can see the tail lights um and it uh, is not the most popular paint job that they ran, but still very unique, very cool looking car. Has like the center line style wheels, and as you can see on the base of this one too, it also has the 2008 copyright. So not only is it like a whole new tooling, it's just a whole new casting altogether. It's not even that the car was retooled, it's just the whole brand new casting which these are very more realistic and authentic to look like the real duster and cuda funny cars i don't have my older ones like the original uh like the red line castings i have their hall of fames that are based on those red line castings but i already have them packed away um but i do have my snake and mongoose video which i will leave the link for that at the end of this video that way you can go back and check it out and see what i mean about the original castings are kind of primitive looking still yet cool but primitive uh compared to these guys these guys look very very realistic um so moving along to another one that would have been mongoose uh now this one I don't think is based on his, but the one from the 50th, 57 Chevy 30th anniversary set, um, or I'm sorry, I think it was the 40th anniversary set from 1997, the Legends um, set, and it had the Snake, not Snake, but the Mongoose 57 Chevy funny car. Now this one's just your 
like Chevrolet, the heartbeat of America paint job, but this casting is based on his car, which came from the 1997 set, and I don't know if there's a copyright, no, nothing that is visual, visual, but um, this specific model here is from the Hot Wheels 100% oil cans, like the clear, I don't know, they call them oil cans because they look like the old oil can, but it's shaped like round like a tire, has a tire uh, uh, cap on the top and on the bottom, and it has a half transparent cover where you can see the car exposed. And this is a very nicely detailed car, as you can see much more detail on the engine and everything compared to the drag strip demons. It's a multi-piece casting, as you see here, ladder bar, or not ladder bars, but the willy bars are separate pieces. The oil pan for the engine, the fuel cell in the front and front suspension, everything like that is a separate pieces. This has like a weld super light. Um, I think that's what they were called. The welds with the holes in it, style wheel. But they're not drilled all the way through, as you can see. But that's what they're supposed to represent. So, really cool casting. Love the 57 Chevy Funny Car from Hot Wheels. They have this in a turquoise and white. And they also have it in Hot Wheels Racing livery, too. And then, if you want the original first release of it... It comes from that 40th anniversary of 1957, and that is based on Mongoose's 57 Chevy Funny Car. So, um, let's take a look at a JL. Now, in my opinion, JL has the nicest looking Challenger Funny Car. I did not bring out any of the Hot Wheels ones because I wanted to focus on like some of my favorites. So, this is your Ram Chargers um, Funny Car. Challenger Funny Car from Johnny Lightning Funny Car Legends. Actually, this one, I think, comes from their model kit, the Classic Plastic or Fantastic Plastic, it's called. And it actually comes with a scaled-down model car box where it's supposed to make this look like a representation of the 125th scale model car. And then they have the replica box. And really cool uh, se series, actually. But... Um, they also, I think, had this in their Funny Car Legends. But if not, the one that I do have definitely from the Funny Car Legends is Rambunctious Gene Snow's Challenger Funny Car. So Hot, Wheel, or Hot Wheels uses an old casting that they made, I think, in the late 70s, early 80s for a Challenger Funny Car. And it looks kind of toyish uh, so it's not as accurate as these these guys actually look like the real deal funny car um they are a little bit small though in my opinion they should be a little bit longer but uh still much better than the hot wheels one in my view so pretty cool casting from JL but Hot Wheels does much better on like the chassis well this one doesn't even open that easily so I'm not even going to try to attempt to open that um this one does however but as you could see inside the engine it's casted there but it's not as detailed as like what the Hot Wheels engines are and such as you can see Hot Wheels does a much better job with like chassis detail on theirs. But the overall body and wheel and tire combo on the Challenger of the um, JL is much better than Hot Wheels choice. But as I said, it's kind of a little bit small because as you can see, this is the Hot Wheels Cuda funny car, and that should have been the fact with the Johnny Lightning. The front end should have been a little bit more stretched out. There should be a little bit more length there, but still yet, yeah, not bad. And as I said, if you're going to pick a better one or the best of the two, the Challenger from JL is much better than Hot Wheels because Hot Wheels still uses that primitive toy-like casting. Um, so moving along to the other JL that I brought out here today, actually there's a couple more I just now spotted. So 
One being the Mustang 2, like based on the 74 and newer uh, Mustang that they called the Mustang 2 that they ran until like 1980. Um, this is Cheryl Greer's funny car based on that. Nobody else makes one except for JL. So have to give them credit for making it. And they did not do that bad of a job with it either. I think it looks pretty decent. Uh, maybe not be 100% accurate, but once again, they are the only ones that made an attempt at this car. And Less Action RCCA made one. Action makes a lot of cool old school funny cars and NASCARs too. Um, but in some cases, Hot Wheels, depending on the casting, like the Cuda funny car and such, I think Hot Wheels is better. Uh, same thing with their Camaro funny cars and so forth. But uh, not sure if Action attempted the Mustang 2. They may have. So pretty cool casting. And then bringing out the only Jungle Jim funny car I have. And it's not their trademark blue. This is done in a maroon. But this is the Monza from JL. Nice casting. Hot Wheels did a Monza in the Drag Strip Demons, which is a little bit better than the JL one, but this is not too bad. Um, much better than their attempt at the Vega funny car. So this one's actually pretty nicely done. Uh, and as I said, it's my only Jungle Gym. And unfortunately, Hot Wheels didn't get the licensing when they were doing the Drag Strip Demon stuff to make any Jungle Gym uh, cars because they have the castings they have the Camaro they have the Monza it would have been great to have seen some Jungle Gym stuff from Hot Wheels so if Hot Wheels Mattel is listening please get the licensing and use your funny car castings of the Camaro and Monza to make some Jungle Gym stuff would love to see that um, but anyways that's the Monza from JL now Moving to another oddball car from the 70s, the little compact cars, would have been the Plymouth Arrow, a.k.a. Mitsubishi Celeste, uh, for your JDM guys. Same car, but they use this car as a funny car in pro stock a lot in the late 70s. So here's Bucky's Plymouth Arrow. Uh, pretty cool casting. They also make a snake Plymouth Arrow which is pretty cool. Still have not acquired that one again. I'm missing a lot of drag strip demons. I've almost closed the vintage racing set, um, which I did a video on that a few months back, maybe even a year back. Uh, still missing, I think, like six cars from the 30 car set. But out of the two sets of drag strip demons, totaling, I think, like 55 cars, I am missing probably still yet like 30 cars, so I still have a long ways to go to get all of them back. But this is one of the crazy ones, the Plymouth Arrow little compact cars that they made into funny cars. Then after him would be the probably the most iconic one from Chevy, not the Monza, but the Vega. And I have two... Um, examples of this from Hot Wheels. I do have some, like the Barry, I think it's Barry Setzer, um, one from JL, but I did not bring him out. I was, once again, trying to bring you the better ones from both manufacturers. So we're not really doing a comparison here, but I did do a comparison video on Funny Cars before, about a year ago, if you guys want to go back and check that out. But here is your Pisano and Metsubara um, and the Time Traveler. So pretty cool castings. Pretty cool casting overall from Hot Wheels, the Vega Funny Car. This is another one that was new for 2008, as you can see the casting date there, copyright date. Uh, for Drag Strip Demons, they made a ton of awesome castings just for that series. We had our Vega Funny Car, we had the new Cuda, the new Ma um, Duster, and also a new Corvette casting. As you can see here, this is not your original like 1978, this is a new 2008 casting. 2006. 
2006, maybe, 2008, I don't know, it may be the curve of the chassis. But anyways, this is new for the drag strip demons. <laughs> so, unless they launched it prior for like a convention, but I don't think they did. Uh, so, this is your Bruce Larson USA 1 uh, Corvette. They do make his Camaro too, but unfortunately I do not have the Camaro of Bruce Larson. And I'm missing also the Dick Carroll one, which is the one that I want the most. Now, I do have the Camaro casting of Hot Wheels with Gang Green and the, oh, I forget the name of this guy, uh, uh, it's just the Mill Road Boys. This is Steve Nichols, Mill Road Boys Camaro. So Hot Wheels Camaro casting is beautifully done. I do have Bruce Larson's USA 1 Camaro, but by uh, Johnny Lightning. And it is the same thing as the Challenger. The wheelbase is a little bit short. Um, but still yet not a bad looking casting. Uh, but Hot Wheels nailed it with theirs. And once again, as you can see, 2008, brand new casting for this series. Um... So, yeah, that series was a huge success with people, in my opinion. I love these old funny cars, so it was great to see this. Another new casting for that series was the 69 Charger funny car. Um, and this is Roland Leon's Hawaiian Charger. And once again, flipping him over, you can see the 2008 copyright there. So, very cool lineup of cars. So, this one's very iconic. Then you had Shaky Situation, and I think there were a couple of other Chargers in that lineup. Wish they would have done Mr. Norm's um, Charger. Hopefully, that's another one they'll get the licensing on and bring that to us. Would love to put that in the showroom of, well, Mr. Norm's. Grand Spalding Dodge, like it was in real life. And even to release the Challenger, even though Hot Wheels Challenger casting is a little primitive, still would love to see Mr. Norm's Challenger and Charger funny cars from Hot Wheels. So there you go with Shaky Situation. Then uh, let's see what we've missed here. Oh, yeah, the 71 Charger funny car. And Hot Wheels also nailed this, but this is a long time ago. This is from the Hot Wheels 100% stuff. The 71 Charger, actually you've seen Roland Leon's Hawaiian 71 Charger in a four-car box set from the Hot Wheels 100%. Then they had this oil can, Chi-Town Hustler, and unfortunately you can see the damage of the rubber bands across the hood and on the fenders. Luckily it didn't eat oil all the way through the side tampos it kind of just faded it out a little bit so um it's unfortunate but it's tolerable um it almost looks like i don't know an old leftover funny car from the 70s where the paint is starting to fade or something but to make it more authentic it should have been the whole car and not just that spot on the fender but anyways still a great looking casting true to scale for the funny car stuff and it's the most accurate looking 71 to like 74 third gen charger this is based on like a 73 or 4 going by the tail lights but that yeah, could have been 72 because as you see the quarter glass has that half circle thing it doesn't have the vertical back line it has that half radius line the quarter glass on the 71 and 72 is like this whereas like the 73 and 4 has quarter glass with kind of the lines like a e-body i could say um not exactly like an e-body but just giving you an example it doesn't have that radius only 71 and 72s do but anyways this is the most accurate third gen charger funny car and it comes from your Hot Wheels 100% stuff. There may have been another one besides the Chi-Town Hustler and the Roland Leon Hawaiian from the four-car set, but I'm not sure. So, um, just taking a look, scan over. Now, I will show you the most desirable car back when Hot Wheels or Extra Demons was released, the hardest one to find, and one of the most desirable ones was this Gone to Blazes 
71 Mustang. This car, this casting, is like the Challenger casting. Very primitive looking, like a toy car. Like the wheels and tires are not so accurate. Like on the other funny cars, as I showed you, with the really big fat slicks, the reversed offset wheels. And the skinny front runners. This has like same size all the way around, but this casting is also from 1977. I'm not sure why Hot Wheels didn't retool the Mustang for this series like they did with all the others. Uh, kind of baffles me that they left the Mustang and the Challenger because they have quite a few Challengers. Um, I think like six or seven different models of the Challenger in this series of the Series 1 and 2 from 09 and 10. Uh, the Mustang made an appearance maybe three or four times like George Doty's uh, Hot Wheels and then the Gone to Blazes one. Um, but yeah, they did not retool it. But this used to be the hardest one to find. Still is not easy to find, but the price has dropped quite a bit since say 2012 to now still not cheap but not what it used to run um that's for sure and snake 2 and mongoose 2 used to follow behind this guy along with the stacked deck um AWB 65 Cornet and your Snake Eyes AWB 63 Nova those used to be the hardest ones to find and the AWB stack deck and the Snake Eyes AWB, which is your altered will base, Novas, are still pretty hard to find. But the Gone to Blazes has gotten easier to find, and Snake 2 and Mongoose 2 are a little bit easier to find nowadays. I think they've even come down a little bit in price. Um, so then, looking around here, we have another... Mustang to show you guys. This came from a Hot Wheels like set from the early 2000s. Don't know if it was the Boulevard Bruisers or what it was, but I just really dig the uh, paint job on this. Your Scott Kidd racing team, but with the pirate on it, the silver and black looks really good together. So this one is not a drag strip demon, but it just looks really good. The paint scheme, even the wheel and tire combo and the way the body closes on this one, it closes better or just as the paint job doesn't have such a big gap between the wheel and tire and the body itself. So this one looks a little more authentic authentic as a funny car then oh we'll try to go on the blazes again as you can see it just seems like there's a huge gap there and it just doesn't look so authentic it looks more like a toy which it is but it, the other ones look so much more accurate for like real funny cars um so then looking around we have a couple of other kudas to show you guys this is your uh, Don Schumacher, Stardust, and then your little Nate Cuda Funny Cars. So the U.S. Army, Stardust, Don Schumacher, which we all know his top fuel cars that he runs now also has Army as a sponsor and stuff. So they've had a long going relationship, but we also know Army sponsored Don Perdome for a while too. So it seems like the army likes the Dons. So they always have sponsored one of those guys. Uh, then the last one I'll show you guys is a Duster funny car. Another one from Hot Wheels. This is called your Tarmac Twister. Uh, and uh, this one used to be hard to find. I did not show you this one either. The Rough and Tumble Duster. That used to be a little bit hard to find. There was a mix-up with numbers in one of the series. There were like two of the same number, which I think was like number 17 maybe, or number 19. But there was two numbers that they made duplicates of, uh, but they were different cars. And then there was also a number that they never produced in one of the series. But it equaled out to be 55 cars because of the misprinted number and such. But yeah, that's been a long time ago. I can't remember the exact number they did not produce, and I can't remember the number that they produced twice. I think it was both of these errors were in the 25 car set, as far as what I can remember. But don't quote me on that. But here's your Rough and Tumble and your Tarmac Twister. 
and it's focusing on the tarmac twister. Let me see if I can get it to focus. There we go. The rough and tumble just looks kind of cool with the gray wheels and stuff. Only one that had gray wheels. All the other ones had chrome wheels. So kind of unique on its own because of that reason. So pretty cool car. So guys, that's about 22 funny cars to show you for this showcase video of our Funny Car Friday. And we will be back next week and we will be unboxing a few older release Mini GT cars. Uh, so be sure to tune back in for that. And then I left an icon here on the left for the Snake and Mongoose comparison of old casting, new casting, and so forth, and showing you a bunch of different sets and variants of their cars. And then I left an icon here on the right for you to subscribe if you have not done so yet. Please remember to do that. Please give me a thumbs up and share the video, guys. Have a great weekend, and thanks for watching.